This is Paul. <laughs> oh, look at natural resources. Fertile soil is probably the chief natural resource. Yes. Your soil is fertile. Yes. <laughs> Agriculture. Oh. And then uh, you have some mag uh, some manufacturing over there. Mm -hmm. Muslin cloth, a, a fine cotton cloth. Yes. <laughs> Pharmaceuticals and textiles. <laughs> International trade. Oh. The country's main trading partners include uh, China, Germany, India, Singapore, and the United States. <laughs> really? <laughs> Why don't you get me the treaties that the United States has with India? <laughs> you know, I'm one of these that would sue your whole nation. <laughs> In fact, when I want to know your actual assets, I mean, what is the nation of India worth? <laughs> Outside of what the property is that the individuals of the, the, the citizens of in, India, <laughs> what, what, what are you worth over there? What is that... If I looked at the border of India, in fact, give me all the border locations that you can go through to be able to get into or out of India. <laughs> Maybe you drive a bus in. <laughs> Maybe you drive a car in. <laughs> Do you have passports in India where <laughs> the individual citizens can travel to other nations because they happen to be a citizen of India? You know, I'm thinking, I'm, no, get me the treaties of India. Oh, well, look at India's army's all upset about this. Did nobody want to recruit? Why doesn't everybody volunteer to be in India's army today? Yes, because I think they're going to need a lot more troops. <coughs> I mean, let's say you're a young man, you're a young woman. Yes, you're not doing nothing. You're not doing nothing. You think, oh, at the age of 18, I'm going to go into India's army and I'm going to increase it by 50% from what it is today. She <laughs> is. Now, for every individual in India that's concerned that I'm going to take the actual assets of India so the army would get paid for my management of your nation. <laughs>